Last video, it was two words, Las Vegas. This video is one word, championship. We going for that chip, right? Yeah, each player on our team need that 500K, right? Christmas is around the corner, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Los Angeles Lakers who last night won in a blowout fashion. And I'm going to get straight down to the recap and give you my logical opinion on what exactly happened. So I told you normally we struggle with young teams. However, in the first quarter, it was, it was a nice fight. You know what I'm saying? We was going back and forth. They ended up the quarter with a one-point lead. Shout out to Anthony Davis. Once again, Anthony Davis getting a block party started early. Beats was bumping. You know what I'm saying? Hits was moving. Block. Party, Anthony Davis, two blocks. That's all they would have for the rest of the game. But nonetheless, it's all about setting the tone. Speaking of the tone, the tone of the defense, I told y'all. Just go back a couple videos ago. I told you that I was confident and I felt good about where our defense could go. And if you ask me, this game, yeah, versus the New Orleans Pelicans, yeah. In Las Vegas tournament style, yeah. I felt as though that this was exactly a manifestation of what I've been talking about. We was playing D once again. You know what I'm saying? LeBron ain't had five steals. Anthony Davis ain't had five blocks. But the energy, right? The energy was there. When you play with that type of energy, what happens is the other team, if they don't have any continuity, they shut down. They shut down. They like, yo, we just here for a check. And that's basically what happened, right? Because, you know, shout out to the Pelicans. You know, they walked away with, you know, I think 200K. Yeah, two, 200K or 100K. It's 50K in the first round if you lose. 100 in the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you win, you get 500. Yeah, so they walked away with 100K each. I mean, cool. You know what I'm saying? Christmas, that's good too. You know what I'm saying? Holidays, that's good. But nonetheless, when you look at the Pelicans, they really struggle. They struggled. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that we blew them out because they struggled. We blew them out because of the energy. We beat them because they struggled, right? When you got Brandon Ingram, don't scratch double digits. Nine points? Nah, that's not likely. You got Zion Williams, they had like 14, 17, like something like. Like, nah. Like, I think they only had like three players on their team that got double digits. And, and the Murphy kid got his double digits in crunch time. So, like, what happened? They, what happened? We shut them down. You know what I'm saying? It was like the old Onyx song. You know what I'm saying? Slam. da 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 Let the boys be boys. Yeah, the Lakers, the Lakers was Laker. You know what I'm saying? That's what we was doing last night. So, um, after the first quarter, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we go down one point, And as we enter into the second quarter, LeBron James, He's really aging like fine wine. This dude is really uh, an expensive bottle of alcohol. As time surpasses, his game just levels up. LeBron went on to shoot three three-pointers to open up the third quarter. Back, the back, the back. Not to mention the third one was from the logo. Yes, it's a highlight. It was from the logo. It's like a heat check. He said, uh, ah. He said, oh, let me step back a little bit. Uh, a little bit further. Ah. Then he was like, man, let me just hash mark it. Uh, dribbled up. Ha! That probably was the dagger right there. We never looked back. We went up eight points, and, like, we never looked back after that. It was pretty much a done deal, like, literally, right? Literally a done deal. So, shout out to LeBron James because he went on, like, an 11-point run by himself, right? He, he, he ended up scoring a layup next. Like, it was just beautiful. We was cutting. We was playing good team ball. Um... I'm not even going to say, I, how do I feel about the play calling? We, we ran some plays, but really this game was just more energy. We just had more energy than them. We was cutting back door, down the lane, passing. Because one thing that they did do, I will say, LeBron James, after he got hot, he got us back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When he went to the bench, we probably was up like 10. And when, when he went to the bench, they cut that lead down. They started chopping that lead down. <laughs> they hacked it. <laughs> like a hacksaw. <laughs> Hacksaw Jim Duggan, yeah, that's what they did to the lead. Yeah, they put a two by four to that lead. So LeBron James had to come right back in, which is cool. But what had happened was they started to put us in a zone. And we wasn't penetrating the zone. We wasn't getting good shots. And they was just turning around, going down, 
and scoring, putting putting the ball in the bucket, basically. But that that zone, I, I want to say they played like a two, three on us. But whatever zone that they played on us, that zone, that zone had us man had us discombobulated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when LeBron James comes back in, the Google <laughs> with the high IQ, with the, the NBA Einstein IQ. That's what I'm gonna call him, NBA Einstein. That's what I'm gonna call LeBron. He's in, he's the NBA Einstein because his IQ is so high. Then once he got in there, started penetrating that joint, it was over, man. It was over. I'm, I'm not even going to get into any more details. I'm going to go straight into the stats because we did good. Like, And one thing that they did with this game, which I thought was interesting, not really sure if I like it, if I don't, but they had the coaches mic'd up. Normally, they have the players mic'd up. So they had the coaches mic'd up. Now, I wasn't feeling this because when they was going on that run, when they hacksaw Jim Duggan to, us, <laughs> to that 10 points, right, while LeBron was on the bench, all you hear was Willie Gray. Come on, B.I., yeah, get it to Ingram. Yeah, everything he was saying, they was doing, and it was working. I'm sitting there like, bro, like, do we not hear? Like, he's mic'd up. Like, do we not hear the plays that he's calling? He's telling the player to come get the ball. He's This is what he's doing. But 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 it was interesting. I just think maybe, like, it was, it was a bit loud, I think. I don't know. Maybe just because it was the first time, and because it was going on a run, I wasn't really feeling Willie Green. He was really, like... You know, cheering his team up because he is a decent coach. You know what I'm saying, young coach, like you know, decent, like really decent, promising future. So when I'm witnessing this in real time, I'm not feeling this. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Darvin Ham, same thing. I heard Darvin Ham actually be active. Now I don't know if Darvin Ham really be saying this in the game because mm -hmm. Darvin Ham, when he had the mic, oh, he was talking. He was, he he sounded like he was coaching. I don't really think he'd do that on the regular, but that could just be me. Maybe that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I already feel some type of weight to his dog him, but you know, he's growing on me. You know what I'm saying? He's growing on me like Moss. You know what I'm saying? On a rainy day. So, as we proceed to just really just wrap this video up because it was a blowout win. You know what I'm saying? Like 40 plus points. Like, come on, bro. Like, and it was over. This wasn't like crunch time 40. This was real time 40 with the stars. You know what I'm saying? I told you, Brandon Ingram only had nine points. You know what I'm saying? Zion, double digits. Didn't nobody scratch the dub. They only had three players on their team to, to hit double digits. Like we was cooking. We didn't even have a bunch of steals. They didn't even have a bunch of turnovers. I think they might have had like 12. We had 14. They had 12 turnovers. So it wasn't like a turnover differential while we we was just cooking them. Like the three ball, the three ball was working. Man, Prince was knocking down threes. LeBron went crazy. Was that his new joint? He going loco. It that loco. It that muy loco. Right? He was going crazy. So I'm I'm just gonna wrap it up with some stats, man. Cause like it was a beautiful win, but the win really was was just destined because we want that chip. LeBron James wants the championship. He wants to add it to his resume. He has stated this publicly. I want to sign a resume, and he want that 500. Everybody want that 500 K. I want 500 K too. You want 500? Yeah, of course you do. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go through some stats real quick. LeBron James, 30 points, five rebounds, eight assists. Come on, man. What did he do from the three-point? He was four for four. He was 100% from behind the arc. I told you, when you pull up and shoot a logo three, come on, man. You feel it, man. Anthony Davis, 16 points, 15 boards. Okay, that's a nice game. Especially when you look, nobody else on the team had double-digit boards. Nobody had double-digit anything. No double-digit assists, anything. He's the only person who had double-digit rebounds. We salute that, you know what I'm saying? But when you look at the rebounds, Reddish with five, LeBron with five, Prince three, Russell three, Vanderbilt five, Christie two, Reeves five, Hayes four, like we like we we everybody was getting but you see what I'm saying? Like like when 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 multiple players don't have double digits and rebounds, that means it's team rebounds, right? Because we had 59 rebounds as a team. I mean everybody was playing ball. I like that. When you look at the assists, LeBron had the high at eight, Reeves had seven. D'Angelo Russell with one assist? Yeah, 14 points. One assist? You know the game was it's this is a team game. Anthony Davis had the two blocks. Vanderbilt had a block. Realistically, man, we was cooking, dog, man. Anthony Davis shot 50% from the field. LeBron shot 75. LeBron was magical. Prince, I think Prince went crazy. Prince went five for eight from behind the arc, man. He got all 15 of his points. From the from the three point line, that's incredible, man. I mean, it was a real good game for us. Cam Reddish with nine, Reeves with seventeen, Hachimura with twelve. Like everybody was cooking, we was cooking on, on, on all cylinders, right? And I want to say something about Christian Woods. And what I want to say about Christian Woods, and 
what I want to say to the Laker Nation is I apologize because I thought the rotation piece that was going to the bench or the rotation piece that was going to fall out of place was going to be Max Christie. But instead of Max Christie, it's actually Christian Woods. And I will say that ever since Woods has fallen out of rotation, we've been rolling. <laughs> we've been rolling a lot better. So although I'm a fan of, of Christian Woods due to his height, right, his size, his skill set, for some reason, um, isn't mixing with the current roster that we got. Not saying that he doesn't belong and he doesn't fit. I'm just saying we, when we throw him in the mix, we're not getting the best results, right? That grandma cooking, it's missing something. It's missing, a, missing a, a pinch of salt here and, you know, some seasoning there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's missing something. So, shout out <laughs> to Darvin Ham. Man, once again, this is, this is a Darvin Ham <laughs> shout out, man. This whole video is, is a salutation to Darvin Ham because Darvin Ham has made the adjustment, right? He has made the necessary adjustments to get us to where we need to be. And realistically, it's really all about the defense. The defense got us looking good, got us playing better, got us feeling good. And I like that. You know what I'm saying? So Hachimura is still, you know, he still ain't 100%. But, you know, last night you seen him try to cook a little bit. Um, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt still needs to, you know, get in his shape. You know, he got a little two points. And he could have had a couple other buckets if, if he would have got, you know, a, a real good pass. Um, from Reeves, but he didn't. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, Vandy's struggling on, you know what I'm saying? Man, as a thinker being, he got to struggle on, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm going to sign out, man. This is my logical opinion. As the Lakers is about to win this in-season championship, we're going against the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, Halliburton, yeah, Halliburton be cooking, but we not, we not settling for this, right? Indiana, y'all not getting this check. I'm sorry, I understand. It's not that big of a deal, but it is to us.